Hey guys, my name is Gary. We're here in the rivers of Bali. I'm the co-founder of Sungai Watch on a mission to clean rivers in Indonesia. And we're doing this by coming up with very community-centric solutions. I actually started this work at the age of 14, uh, being a little youth activist on the beaches of Bali, seeing the need for solutions for protecting our home island of Bali, but ultimately looking at problems and solutions at source. We have developed some simple floating barriers to stop plastics in our rivers before they go into the ocean. And so far, our, you know, I've deployed 200 of them between Java and Bali. Every single day, our troops clean them up, and every single day, we collect you know, roughly three to 4,000 kilos of plastics that we then sort in our nine sorting facilities to then you know, collect as much data as possible as to what we're collecting. Our biggest success has been to clean an entire stretch of mangroves, 22 hectares worth in Bali's capital, South Bend Pasar, just you know, a couple minutes away from the international airport, and seeing mangroves come back to life after six months of work. In another river, you know, where it was once filled up full of plastic, after long we clean up, we're seeing fish come back. You know, very recently started our own social enterprise focused on recycling that we're calling Sungai Design to recycle all of the plastics that we're collecting and in turn coming up with raw flat sheets or slabs that we can literally turn anything into. I currently reside in a 12 meter squared tiny house made from 35,000 plastic bags collected from the rivers of Bali. So much of our work is really based on government collaborations to create you know, road plans of action to make sure that this behind me doesn't happen, that our rivers are not treated like garbage dumps. Hello, I am Jessica, founder of Carbon Ethics and Bumi Journey. Indonesia is the largest archipelagic country in the world with the biggest blue carbon stock globally. However, Indonesia's blue carbon ecosystem is experiencing one of the world's fastest deforestation rate. Carbon Ethics is committed to restore blue carbon ecosystem to bring back the climate balance, while improving livelihood of coastal communities and biodiversity. Bumi Journey connects people with nature, providing experiential learning in carbon ethics conservation sites. At every turn of our journey, we ignite our passion for excellence by embracing passionate individuals, strategic collaboration, and enforcing inclusivity. We aim to bring systematic change for blue carbon ecosystem restoration in Indonesia, working with three ministries to create an unparalleled impact because it's high time to put the ocean first. Hi everyone, my name is Alvin Chilea and I am a marine scientist by training. I have been working with Reef Check Malaysia for the past 12 years and my role is as their Chief Programs Officer. I did my degree and my master's in marine science and I was an active diver throughout that time. So I saw firsthand the damage that reefs were facing in Malaysia due to development and destructive fishing practices. And I really wanted to do something to protect coral reefs. I moved here full time to start a program called Chintai Tioman, which aimed at building social and ecological resilience. We wanted to protect reefs, but also wanted to get the local community involved in the effort. Over the years now, we've trained around 350 people, 80 of which were with skills related to uh, coral reefs, because we wanted to get them involved in reef management and conservation. This group of islanders are now known as the Tioman Marine Conservation Group and they are actually the first in the country to be formally recognised by the government as strategic partners when it comes to protecting reefs. I would say my proudest achievement was when the first batch of students who were mere kids, 9-year-old, 10-year-old kids, when we first started teaching them in the school, uh, when these kids finished schooling, and started working with us as adults. You know, it felt like it had gone a full circle and that all that year spent on the island had made an impact. Om Swastiastu. My name is Made Merta. You can call me Pak Eka. Pada tahun 2000, saya bersama beberapa teman nelayan menggagas kelompok Minabakti Segara Lestari. 
Grup ini terdiri dari 24 anggota. Di antara tahun 1987 sampai tahun 2000, kami berangkap ikan hias dengan potasium. Pada awalnya potasium menyebabkan kami sangat gampang mendapatkan uang. Tapi tahun 1988, kami bersama dengan teman sudah mulai menangkap ikan hias ke luar pulau. Pada tahun 2000, kami membentuk kelompok untuk melestarikan terumbu karang. Beberapa LSM mengajari kami menangkap ikan hias dengan jaring yang ramah lingkungan. Kami belajar menanam kembali karang-karang yang telah kami rusak. Pada awalnya, kita pakai uang dari pemerintah dan beberapa sumbangan dari pribadi. Sejak tahun 2012, kami melakukan restorasi terumbu karang tidak lagi menggunakan uang dari pemerintah. Ini kami menggunakan banyak metode penanaman terumbu karang. Kami juga punya struktur beton besar maupun kecil. Sama teman-teman dari National University of Singapore, kami belajar bereksperimen dengan karang apa yang tumbuh paling baik untuk meningkatkan keanekaragaman hayat. Saya bangga dengan lim yang saya temukan untuk penanaman terumbu karang. Efisien dan gampang untuk didapatkan di lokal. Mengingat, karang yang akan ditanam itu sangat banyak. Sekitar 60% karang sudah berhasil direhabilitasi. Saya dan rekan-rekan di kelompok telah berbagi pengalaman dan lokal karya tentang rehabilitasi terumbu karang di banyak tempat seperti Sulawesi, Wakatobi, Lombok, Sanur, bahkan Singapura. Hi everyone, my name is MJ and I'm the co-founder of a science and environment channel called Just Keep Thinking. Here at Just Keep Thinking, we create light-hearted and bite-sized videos on anything to do with science, nature, wildlife, biodiversity and sustainability issues and we post it on all major social media platforms. To date, we have over 500,000 followers and our goal is to really educate, influence and inspire the masses to be future eco-stewards of our planet. On top of creating educational content, I also conduct regular nature-guided walks, learning journeys, workshops, sharing sessions, beach cleanups and more, reaching out to over a thousand people every year. It is so important for all of us to feel connected and nurture a love for Mother Nature so that we can better protect it as if our lives depend on it. Because it does. As long as all of us play our part, I truly believe that our ripples can create big waves of change.